Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn about Power Automate Desktop Extension. So please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. So let's get started. So today's agenda is use of pad extensions. And then we will learn about install browser extensions. And then alternate ways to install extensions. And then we will set up the browsers. So what is the use of Power Automate Desktop Extensions? To automate web-related tasks, Power Automate provides a built-in automation browser that's set up for you and works out of the box. Power Automate also supports the four most popular browsers, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox. These browsers need extra setup and extensions to work with Power Automate Desktop. How can you install web browser extensions? When installation of Power Automate for Desktop is complete, the installer prompts you to install the Power Automate extension for your browsers. The links in the installer sends you to the appropriate extension store. If you skip the automatic installation of the browser extension, you can do it yourself later. Use the following links or go through the tools, browser extensions options in the flow designer. Right? So this is the prompt when your installation of the Power Automate desktop is done. It will prompt you to install the extensions. Here you can see that we have Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Mozilla Firefox. There are some alternate ways to install the browser extensions. After Power Automate for Desktop version 2.27, the Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox browser extensions are part of the installation. Find the extension files in the following path, which is C, Program Files, X86, Power Automate Desktop, and Browser Extensions. Now here you can see that it is given install extension for Microsoft Edge. For that you have to go to Edge extensions through the browser setting or enter the Edge colon power slash extensions in the address bar. Then make sure that developer mode is turned on. So what I will do is I will click on this burger sign and then click on developer mode. Now here you can see that I have navigated to program files x86 and power automate desktop and browser extensions folder. And once the developer mode is on, you can just drag this extension file from the file explorer to this Microsoft Edge. You will see that this pop-up comes up. You have to click on add extension and then your extension will be installed. Right? Similar way you can do it for Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. Now we will learn about set up the browsers. To make sure that your browser works as expected with Power Automate, you will need to turn off a couple of features. So for Microsoft Edge, you need to go to Settings, System and turn off Continue Running Background Apps when Microsoft Edge is closed. For Google Chrome, go to Settings, Advanced, System and turn off Continue Running Background Apps when Google Chrome is closed. And for Mozilla Firefox, Firefox alerts that freeze the browser and prevent users from switching to other tabs or windows may affect your desktop flows. Turn off this feature. Then you can enter about colon config in the address bar. Search for the prompts.tab underscore model dot enabled preferences in the list and change it to false. So this setting will be applicable for Mozilla Firefox because in Firefox it gives a pop-up which will freeze the navigation from one tab to another tab which will affect your desktop bot. If you are using Internet Explorer by default Internet Explorer works in the protected mode to prevent any external application from controlling it. While Power Automate can still work with this setting turned on, it won't be able to clear the browser's cache of cookies. You need to turn off the protected mode. Select the gear icon and then select Internet Options. Navigate to Security. Then Internet and turn off the Enable Protected Mode. Repeat the same step for the local intranet and trusted sites zones and then click on OK. If you are using Internet Explorer for servers, to use Internet Explorer in Windows servers, you must turn off Internet Explorer Enhanced Security Configuration. This feature prohibits all desktop flows from properly launching an Internet Explorer or Automation Browser instance through the Launch New Internet Explorer action. Additionally, it prevents web helpers from working as expected. Right? For that, you will have to launch the Server Manager and select the Local Server tab, and then select Internet Explorer Enhanced Security Configuration. Then turn off IEESC for both administrators and users and then select OK. So this is all about Power Automate Desktop Extensions. If you like this video, please click on the like button and please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any question, please post it in the comments section.
Thank you for watching. Have a great day.